Hello everyone, this is E66 of Chicago, your underpaid, underinsured, and undertrained mechanic. And today, we're going to be doing the first episode of Anatomy of a Failure. And we're going to go over on my video of the Nissan Sentra of terminal fuse and positive battery replace why I had to get all new parts. Now let's start over complaining. Start over. This section right here that bolts into this is the fuse link for Nissan's. Nissan uses it on a lot of their vehicles. I hate it. Anyway, I had to replace this. This is probably still good. It needs to be cleaned. But I had to replace this because this bolt is frozen up. And we'll go over that in a second. So, the original mode of failure was corrosion to this. And you can see where it broke here. And I've had this break before. Here's the bottom plastic was underneath it and the tightening bolt. Anyway, I had this replaced on my arms infinity. And here's the undamaged one where you can see it. It's not very thick metal, kind of cheap, kind of breaks easy. Now, I could have still salvaged this, and all this crud on here is from the corrosion cleaner. But the problem was this bolt started rounding off, and it's just covered in corrosion literally down into the threads. And I could get a vice grip on here, but I did not think I could get it off without breaking this anyway. And I was running out of time for this repair. So, we just got a new one showing you some corrosion to replace it. I had never seen a car with this bad of corrosion. So here's the part. This is the positive terminal for a lot of Infiniti and Nissan vehicles. It's a terrible design. I'll admit that. And this one's a newer model because I bought it from the same place where I got my Infiniti. And they break very easily. There's a bolt that they now sell you separately. Ain't that shitty. Ain't that fun. That's one way to get extra. Yeah, it's got its own part number of the bolt for this. Because the older one I had for several years came with the bolt. And I'm not sure where it went. And so now they're charging you for it. So, this part is basically the failure. Now, this was badly corroded. And I tried to take this off, and it just broke. So I had to remove it, and it just became basically me just fighting. But basically, this is the anatomy of the failure. You had a failure here, the connector that drained the battery right here where it broke off that drained the battery then we had a failure here of this bolt due to corrosion and unremove so we had to replace this but basically that's the cause of the anatomy of this failure for this vehicle a substandard design with substandard parts in my opinion resulted in a no start situation for a vehicle and about fifty seven dollars later so anyway, this has been Z66 or Sakoth. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, share, follow my videos. Show your mama, show your grandma, show your dachshund. And I remember, I need you because these Ray-Bans aren't going to pay for themselves. Thank you very much and you have a good day.